And the next day I took it out and started playing it and it still wasn't there. It was just cold, you know. <laughs> and uh, and then I forgot what it was. I opened it up and one of the grounds was there wasn't was something there was something I remember the, the ground wasn't the up. ground wasn't hooked up or something. Yeah. Something wasn't hooked up. And as soon as it got hooked up, the thing went whoop and started playing right. And so uh, the first that was about the time I started working on the Continuum album. And so I don't remember exactly the first song I played it on in terms of what I did as soon as I got the guitar, but I know that I can't go back any earlier in my mind than having played this on uh, Bold as Love. So yeah, actually from day one on the record. Bold as Love, Can't Trust My, uh, I Don't Trust Myself With Loving You, a song called Over and Over, which never made the record. So the first, the first song that this made it on was Bold as Love. It's, it's such, for me, like a voice, mm -hmm. you know? Like, um, even, without the, that, even without the tremolo effect for gravity, you can still hear the, you know, like, mm -hmm. and this is also feel-wise, the only guitar for me where I can really hang on notes the way that I want to hang on a note. I mean, it's defined the way I wrote those songs, mm -hmm. you know, like a... <laughs> You know, I think that solo was on the, or maybe it was, yeah. some sloppy playing. Sorry guitar players of America who think they can do it better. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a universally good guitar player. I'm a good guitar player inside of the things that are that I respond to. And it's not every guitar. It's very few guitars actually. And and maybe as I get older I'll learn how to be a better guitar player in the sense that I can show up to an open mic night and the guy'll be like, here you go. And we've all done it. But in terms of having a true voice as, an, as a guitar player, this is sort of the, the, the second voice for me, other than being a singer. And I will say also, this guitar is the only guitar to my name that I feel like it has a certain level of interest from other people. Like, the guitar almost has a fame level to it. Mm. And I've never experienced that before. Like, if I go to a session and I take this guitar out of the bag, Anybody who doesn't know me or hasn't seen the guitar sort of goes, wow, that's the guitar. Yeah. And that's really interesting to have only owned an instrument for five years and to become so associated with it or, or to have it so associated with me or something. Uh, you've seen it so many times, you've heard it, you've, you see it in person and it's one of the few guitars that I've ever experienced where you take it out of the bag and you, you sort of for a minute become chopped liver next to it because people go, that's it, huh? And they don't say that's it in that you're the famous guy and that's your famous guy's guitar. They say that's it, huh? Because they have reference in their mind all the times they've seen you play it on television, in concert, on YouTube, on the internet, in pictures. And the guitar gives a sense of having been, been somewhere, you know, having traveled someplace. I was making a, a guitar that was going to serve me as an artist and it just became sort of one of the few things that as a, there was more of there wasn't diminishing return it just kept opening up and opening up and opening up and so you know part of having a sound as a guitar player is obviously your style and your phrasing but the other part is sort of the tone you know mm -hmm. and so for me to have that much more of a voice because I'm not exactly reinventing music itself, but I can just have a voice on the guitar that's a little bit different than everyone else's. So that when I do just go, you can just kind of hear the signature on it, you know? Or, the 
other thing too on a guitar is you learn, you can learn the tension on a guitar so you know exactly how to bend up to a note. So I've played the guitar so long I can start. So that's where the uh It's also the distance between the strings, the slack going this way, how tall the frets are and how high you need to push up on the string. So everything just gets really articulate, you know? That's just plain sick.